Hey guys, this is Subhash Mishra, your test coach. Today we will learn what is selenium and little bit history about selenium. So what is selenium? Selenium is a free and open source test automation suit used for automating web based applications or UI applications. It supports automation across different browsers like Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Safari and IE. It supports different platforms like Windows, Linux, Mac operating system, Unix and all. We can create Selenium test suits over any platform like Windows and we can execute the same test in another platform like Mac or Linux. So that is one very big advantage of Selenium. Selenium also supports all major programming languages like Java, Python, JavaScript, Ruby, Paul, okay. Then using Selenium, we can automate the functional test and easily integrate them with Maven, Jenkins and other build automation and continuous integration tools. So Selenium is a set of different software tools. Each tool has a different approach in supporting web-based automation testing. Mainly it has four components. Here you can see Selenium Integrated Development Environment IDE. Then we have Selenium Remote Control RC and WebDriver then Selenium Grid. Okay, so now we will go through little bit history of Selenium. So to do that what we will do, we will go to Selenium Wiki. Okay, let's go to Google and just search for Selenium Wiki. Okay. So I'll go to the very fast here. So here you can see details history about uh, Selenium. So mainly Selenium was originally developed by Jason Huggins in 2004. So in that time he was an engineer at uh, ThoughtWorks. He was working on a web application that required frequent testing. Then uh, he realized the repetitious manual testing of their application was becoming more and more inefficient. Then he created a JavaScript program that would automatically control the browser actions. And he named uh, this program as the JavaScript test runner. So by looking at the potential of his idea to help other web based applications, he made JavaScript runner open source which was uh, later renamed as Selenium Core. So that's how Jason Huggins developed Selenium Core in 2004. Okay. Then we have uh, Selenium RC came into the picture. Unfortunately, testers using Selenium Core had to install the whole application on the test and the web server on their own local computers because of the restrictions imposed by the same origin policy. So another ThoughtWorks engineer, Paul Hammond, decided to create a server that will act as an HTTP proxy to trick the browser into believing that Selenium core and web application being tested come from the same domain. This system became known as the Selenium Remote Control or Selenium One, you can say. Okay, so that's how Selenium RC came. Then uh, Selenium Grid. Selenium Grid was developed by Patrick Lightbody to address the need of minimizing test execution times as much as possible. He initially called the system hosted QA. Okay. It was capable of capturing browser screenshots during significant stages and also of sending out Selenium commands to different machines simultaneously. Then we have Selenium IDE. So Sinia Kastani of Japan created Selenium IDE. So a, it is a Firefox extension that can automate the browser to a record and playback feature. He came up with this idea to further increase the speed in creating test cases. So he donated Selenium IDE to the Selenium project in 2006. Then Selenium WebDriver. Simon Stewart created WebDriver in 2006 when browsers and web applications were becoming more powerful and more restrictive with JavaScript programs like Selenium Core. It was the first cross-platform testing framework that could control the browser from the OS level. 
then we will learn a little bit about selenium 2 so in 2008 the whole selenium team decided to merge webdriver and selenium rc to form a more powerful tool and that is called as selenium 2 so in that webdriver was the core okay currently selenium rc is still being developed but only in maintenance mode most of the selenium projects efforts are now focused on selenium 2 so the question the last thing may be in your mind why the name is selenium the name selenium came from a joke which jason cracked once to his team during selenium's development another automated testing framework was popular made by the company called mercury interactive you would have been knowing qtp right so mercury interactive is the owner of the qtp then qtp was uh, acquired by hp so since selenium is a well-known antidote for mercury poisoning jason suggested that name and his teammates took it so that is how we got the name as selenium okay so that's all a uh, little bit about uh, history about selenium thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel